Now we're going to look at the last form of heat transfer, which is called radiation. And the question that I want you to think about is, if there is nothing between the sun and the earth, that is, there's, there's no air, there's no material, how does heat, which is basically movement, reach us? So here we have the sun and the earth, and in the middle, there's the void, right? There's absolutely nothing. Maybe there's one particle per cubic meter or something like that. But somehow, the earth still gets hot, right? So how does the energy from the sun reach the earth? And the answer is radiation. Now, most of you will probably have heard the word radiation before. And basically, what we're talking about when we say radiation is just light. The light from the sun moves until it reaches the earth and then heats everything up. So how does light manage to heat things up? Well, you can imagine light as some sort of packets of pure energy that are capable of moving through the void. Now when one of these packets hits an atom, this atom absorbs that energy and starts moving a lot faster. Therefore, that the material that is receiving the light will heat up. Now, there's many, many different types of light. There's visible light, which is the one that you're used to seeing. And there's something called ultraviolet, which you cannot see, but which can cause cancer, for example, if it touches your skin too often. There's something called gamma radiation, which has even more energy. And then, on the other end, there's something called infrared radiation, which is less energetic than visible light. But it turns out that infrared radiation is very, very good at uh, transmitting heat. And that's because our bodies are very good at absorbing and emitting infrared radiation. Now here you have a picture of a baby cow, and what you're seeing is the infrared radiation that her body is giving off. Now, of course, you wouldn't be able to see this with the naked eye. What you need is special equipment that allows you to see the infrared radiation that is be being given off by things. And basically, anything that's around 20, 30, 40 degrees hot is going to be giving off a large amount of infrared radiation, like this cow here. You, yourself, are also giving off infrared radiation all the time, so you're losing heat all the time by radiating. In the case of this vitroceramic here, when I heat it up, you see it becomes very, very red. And actually, that's just the part that you see. But at the same time, it's giving off a lot of infrared radiation that's heating up whatever it is that you put in there. So the basic idea here is that everything is giving off radiation. And the difference is in amount and how energetic that radiation is. So for example, if you want to give off visible light, you have to be extremely hot, like for example, this metal bar here. Right? Now our bodies, of course, you can see people, but that's not because they're giving off radiation, but th because they're reflecting light from the sun. But if you turn off the light, you can't see people anymore. Right? Um, we're still giving off radiation though, we're giving off infrared radiation, but it's not energetic enough for us to see. All right, so now that you know about radiation, you can hopefully answer this question. Now, an astronaut in space is surrounded by nothingness. So, can they still lose heat? And if so, how do they lose this heat? Please write your answer in the comment section.